In this demonstration, I would like to show you why we should not use our digital multimeter when set to the current function to try to make the measurement across something. Remember, current is always through something. Voltage is across. When we like to measure current, current is the digital multimeter or the current measuring device will become part of the circuit and will have very little effect on the circuit. For this demonstration I'm going to use two meters, one set to measure current and the other set to measure resistance. So the MTP meter here I will set it up to go to the 200 milliamp range. So I will use my meter leads. I've already checked my meter leads. I know they're good. So black into the common and red into the milliamp jack. And I'll turn the meter on. I'll use the fluke meter to measure the resistance of the MTP meter. So to do that, I'll again connect my meter leads up. I've already pre-checked them. They're good. So black into common and red into the ohms jack. Now I will connect my meter leads together, red to red. and black to black. Let's see what kind of resistance we get. It looks like I'm getting around a hundred and almost 103 ohms, but look what I'm finding more interesting is that the digital multimeter is actually measuring one milliamp of current coming from the fluke meter. Let's change ranges. So the resistance dropped a little bit. Let's, so I'm on the 20 milliamp range. Let's jack over our connection over to the 10 amp jack and set my range to amps. And you can see here I'm measuring a really low resistance of 0.2 ohms. So that's really a, as close to a short circuit as it gets. Let's explain why. This is a digital multimeter I took apart. It wasn't working, but this will work perfectly for this demonstration. Down by the jacks here, you'll see the common jack, the black jack, right here. And there's a big copper wire raised up off the circuit board going over to the 10 amp current jack. Let's take a closer look at that. So this is a close-up view of that connection that goes from the common jack to the 10 amp jack through a fuse that's on the back side. This is very substantial and we know that our, from our theory that the thicker the wire and the longer the wire, the lower the resistance. So you can see that this is going to have a very very low low resistance. They call that a current shunt and because of that current shunt we have the meter has a very very low resistance so if I connect the digital multimeter to a circuit and I connect it across something I immediately short something out on the circuit that I connect it to, possibly blowing the fuse in the digital multimeter, which is a good thing. So we're protecting the digital multimeter through the fuse. So this is why we always measure current through something and not across something. It's this current shunt that causes the problem. To summarize what I've just demonstrated, the digital multimeter, when set to the current function, will have a very low resistance across its meter leads. In this example, the MTP meter had a resistance of just under 100 ohms for the milliamp ranges. When the MTP meter was set to measure current using the 10 amp jack, meter leads had a resistance of 
0.2 ohms, which is basically a short circuit. It's these low resistances when we use the current function that causes the problem when we try to measure current across something and causes a short circuit in the circuit that we are testing. So never ever connect a current meter across something. Current always needs to be measured through something. You will not blow a fuse in your meter then.